Hello there, people. No, I'm not Donald Trump. I'm not Hillary Clitoris. I understand, you know, you turn on any device this time, you know, of the year, and you're going to fucking see their ugly faces. Uh, but no, I am not. I am actually Wayne. I'm uh, I'm, I'm not running for the, you know, the fucking presidency, but, you know, after you poor Americans, well, you got to put up with it. Might, might as well. Um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to be here just because I'm bored. I've got nothing to do. Jamie's away here to folks for the time being, so I'm just... Sitting around and, uh, yeah, just basically want to, you know, talk shit to the people out there. And, you know, we've had the, the final presidential debate. And believe it or not, here in Australia, I still got to put up with that shit on TV. Every fucking thing I turn on, I'm either seeing Donald Trump's fucking Oompa Loompa looking fucking face or goddamn Hillary Clitoris's fucking god awful laughter, everything she does. Um, yeah, so basically, what we're going to. Well, what I'm going to talk about, what hopefully you've got to listen to, and, you know, we're going to contribute to that, I hope. Uh, we can chat a little bit about the the great debate, as I'm calling it, or was the, you know, the America's Fuck debate, as I like to call it. Uh, yeah, the Logan trailer has just hit. Uh, you know, the, the last uh, Hugh Jackman appearance is the Wolverine. Um, we'll talk about that. If you haven't seen it, check it out while, you know, watching this. Oh, God, Ryan, my motherfucker, what the hell are you watching me for? Shouldn't you be working, you little prick, or going playing your, your, your soccer as you go to the football? Um, what else? Uh, well, the Red Dead Redemption, if you uh, have never played that game, uh, you are very sad and you should be playing it. So, um, you know, uh, basically go play the game rather than watch this shit. As Ryan just said, this is shit. Well, you know, well, at least it is shit. At least I'm doing something, not playing soccer. Uh, so I want to talk, the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer has literally not hit yet, it's, it's like an hour away, and, uh, you know, arguably the greatest game of all time is finally getting its sequel, which it sh- fucking should have a long, long fucking time ago, uh, it's soccer, Ryan, not football, you know that, so fuck off, this is Australia, we call it what it's really called, cool. it's called soccer, uh, and of course Walking Dead, Walking Dead is about to return next week for the, the big, uh, season premiere, or mid-season premiere, I can't know what the fuck they do with it these days, uh, so, uh, I can, I'm not going to get to that yet, because, uh, I can, look, we, I'm going to spoil it for you, I'm going to pretty much tell you who is going to die, and what's going to happen, so, before that comes up, I will tell you, not even my predictions, just the evidence that it leads to who's going to be killed, and it's going to be more than one person, it's going to be very brutal, there has been a leaked script, so we'll get talking about that. Uh, <clears throat> presidential debate, well... Where to begin with that? Fucking hell. All, it's worse than having me bicker. You know, all you fucking hear is Donald Trump over talking Hillary Clitoris and Hillary Clitoris talking over Donald Trump. And fuck America, you guys are not winning no matter what you do. Seriously, it is, it is such a fucking sad situation to be in. You know, you, you, you got Obama and whatever people think of Obama, at least that guy actually has done something, you know, he, he is actually very popular outside of America, you know, I know in Australia he's very loved, England loves him, however, Donald Trump and Hillary, my God, yeah, I'd rather we just start again, you know, seriously, I mean, the worst thing is, why the hell are they even showing that shit here, it's live on television and we're not even fucking American, yet we're gonna put up with watching them just bicker like fucking children, it's like watching five-year-olds, Seriously, it's like watching two five-year-olds fight over who's going to be the school fucking president. And we all lose. <laughs> it, it, it is worse than any fucking Game of Thrones government. Seriously. You know, there's more backstabbing, more bitching, more bickering. But you know what? I'd rather have fucking Jon Snow up there than these two cunts. Um, it, it, is, it is a sad, sad fucking situation you guys have been put in. Oh, fuck, I mean, in the end of the day, I know the election is, what, weeks away, if that? Uh, and, uh, fuck, you know, I, I do, I do not envy anyone who has to go and vote for either one of those two, but I swear, if Donald Trump gets in, I will eat this microphone. I will fucking eat it live on air, because I will, I cannot stand that man being there, you know? We're all assholes in our own way, but that guy, he is a cunt asshole. which, to be honest, it is, imagine if your, your, your cunt was full of shit. That's basically what he is. It is, it is just something very disgusting. And uh, something you don't really want to think about. But moving right along, I just finished watching Fox's first trailer for Logan. Uh, Logan is uh, the uh, final Hugh Jackman installment to his uh, Wolverine franchise. Um, 
you know what? Totally different take of it. Totally different take. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the trailer. It's It looks interesting. It looks like mutants are pretty much almost extinct at this stage. And Professor X is in it. You know, Patrick Stewart's playing him again. Um, you know, Hugh Jackman looks a lot older and they make him look older and weaker. Like he, he's not regenerating like he used to. And it, it, it's different. I actually like the fact they're taking a different tone on it and a different take on it. It's not the same generic shit that we've been getting with Wolverine over the last fucking, you know, what, six films, to be honest? Because every single movie you think of bloody X-Men, first one, well, we're going to tell you a bit of Wolverine's background. X2, oh, more Wolverine's background. X3, oh, we're just going to fuck it up and just tell you more of his background. And then we're going to do his, his own prequel stories that people wanted, but not like that. And then we're going to fuck up Deadpool about it. But this... I I do not know what if this is any you know following any of the comics. Um, I'm not a X Men comic person, I must say. But the, I like the tone they're taking with it. It looks a lot more serious, a lot more emotional. And I, I don't know. I mean, I think people get a bicker and bitch about it, saying, like, "Oh, it's another Wolverine you know film," and they're probably just going to skip it. They're not even going to look at it. But I, I urge you to go and check it out. It's yeah, it's just got a good. I don't know, good vibe to it. But that's me. I mean, in the end of the day, I, I do like Hugh Jackman. I do like his portrayal Wolverine. I do get sick of it, and I do think they haven't done enough with it, but I am not going to blame him for that. I blame all the writing and the directing. And I actually like... This looks like a, a film where there's a lot at stake. Not like the food, you know, not eating the fucking thing, but a lot at stake for mutants and mankind and survival in general. And I do like the fact they're going with that. Something different, and uh, it doesn't come out till March, and you know I'm sure we're going to get flooded with trailers and shit before then, and you know I'll, I'll predict it here. They're going to kill off Wolverine. They'll kill him off. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to say that. <clears throat> Whether I, I kind of get the feeling they're going to kill him off so they can bring a new Wolverine into the into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I think a lot of people are expecting that to happen. You know, we've just had Sony to deal with uh, Disney. Uh, to get Spider-Man across there, and there's no doubt Fox are going to be looking to make that money as well and banking in with some of the X-Men characters uh, going into that universe. And in order to do that, they probably have to reboot with a new actor of Wolverine. And uh, Hugh Jackman has said that this will be the last time he betrays the role, so <laughs> they're going to kill him off and uh, bring in <clears throat> what I predict is a new Wolverine and most likely Tom Hardy. Which is what I'm going to say here now. I think he turned down Suicide Squad. Thank God he did. To uh, portray uh, Wolverine. I'm just going to throw it out there now. I, I think he's already lined up for it. And I think he's already going to be cast in it. Uh, I think a lot of people have said straight away. He would be a great choice. He's, he's stocky, short. I mean, it's, it's Tom fucking Hart even. Come on, seriously. He, he's born to almost play that role. Um, might be a little bit too old. But if it's going to be brought into the Marvel Universe, maybe he's just going to be the older version anyway. So... Uh, yeah, Tom Hardy, without a doubt, is going to be cast as Wolverine next. Um, he'll be in, you know, one of the cinematic movies coming up sooner or later, so with Marvel and shit. So just play this back, you know, a year or two from now, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, with that said, Red Dead Redemption, uh, part two. Uh, if you haven't played the first game, Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar, yeah, GTA, uh, all the Grand Theft Auto games, of course, they made... Arguably, I think their best game, without a doubt, Red Dead Redemption. It is uh, Western, gunslinger, but it's the story. And to be honest, GTA has the better gameplay, without a doubt. You can do all this shit and go and travel, but what Red Dead Redemption got right were the characters. GTA has no John Master. Never has, never will. And the fact is, now they're doing Red Dead Redemption 2, there's speculation, well, why is he going to be in it? You know, how are they going to have uh, John Marston back in Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, it's going to be a prequel. There's absolutely no doubt Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to go back and tell the backstory of John Marston. Uh, and the trailer hasn't hit yet, so I'm just predicting this right here, right now. It's, it's about an hour away. They're going to have the trailer for Red Dead uh, 2. But I'm going to say it here, it's going to be a prequel. And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, why would you have a prequel? Well, Rockstar are going to play it safe. They're going to want John Marston back. Now, you can't move forward with the story because he's dead. 
sorry to spoil it, people. Yes, John Marston dies in the end of Red Dead 1. And uh, to be honest, I think they, they're kind of sorry they killed him off. But if they didn't kill him off, the, the, the game wouldn't have been as emotional as what it was. And it, it has one of the greatest endings of any games, period, ever. It's one, it, it, look, it is arguably the greatest game of all time. If anyone said to me it's the best game, I would not argue with them in the slightest. Definitely going to be at least top three, top five, and people are insulted to even put it that low. It's just fucking amazing of a game. And, you know, people have been asking for a sequel for so... It's like The Incredibles with Pixar. People have been begging for a sequel for so long. Finally going to get it. Red Dead's the same. And I love the fact that Rockstar have taken the time to hopefully do the game justice because... Yes, it's been a long time waiting, and uh, a lot of people are going to be pissed if they fuck it up. And, you know, I'll be really shocked and disappointed if, if it's not a prequel, because I want to see John Marston's story. I want to see what John Marston got up to and who, how John Marston became who he was, because the game itself holds an amazing story of his his death, but we don't really know what led up to that, and, you know... He's, he's, you know, how he met his wife, how they had their son, you know, all that kind of shit. And the fact is now you have the game to actually tell that. So I think Rockstar are going to play it very safe and they're going to go back and they're going to do the prequel. Because, let's face it, we want to play as John Marston in Red Dead 2. We do not want to play as his son. Because put, put it this way, if you don't know Red Dead Redemption, it ends with John Marston being killed and you take on his son for one final role, which is to get revenge and kill the man who killed John Marston. Now, with that said, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, he, he, you need to play his son in the second game and all this shit. I don't think Rockstar will do that. Rockstar, personally me, at the end of Red Dead 1, his son kills one man, and that's it. He has no, he, he does not want to be his father. And to be honest, if you made... Um, John Marston's son, the main character, and he was killing people. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of the, of John trying to teach his son not to be a killer, not to be a murderer like he is, to be a good person. And I kind of personally think that in the end of that game, he only kills, he only gets revenge. He, that's all he's there to do. He's not a killer. Well, he is a killer and he killed, but that son of a bitch deserves it. So um, if, if they split it up and they did a prequel and a sequel, I think it'd be an awesome. I mean, look, the trailer is going to hit soon, and I could be completely wrong with what they're doing with it, but. I think Rockstar want to make sure that you are playing as John Marston and his storyline, and it, it's it's easily the it's the bankable option. You know, you're not you're not going to want to play. Oh, I can't wait to play as John's son. I mean, who gives a shit about him? Seriously. So I, I think they're very smart, and I think they will definitely make John the main character again. They're going to tell the young story of him. I think that's it's the safest, the safest option, without a doubt. As I said, the trailer's going to hit soon, so we'll see what they do with it anyway. Now, that said, uh, if you do not want to know anything about the upcoming Walking Dead, uh, you might want to tune out here now because, uh, they're, it, look, it's speculation, but I'm going to back it up with the proof of what's going to happen in the Walking Dead. If you don't want to know anything, whether it's comic related, uh, the show itself, tune out right fucking now because this is going to be spoiler galore. What's going to happen? Who's going to be killed? And I'll tell you who and why if you don't know already. So you've been warned. All right. <clears throat> now, when the season starts up, there has been a leaked script of The Walking Dead. It has been leaked out whether it's true or not, but it backs up a lot that are the Spoiling Dead fans who are the ones who have been getting set photos and they're, they're basically gaining evidence of who has alive and who's been killed. With that said, if you don't want to know, so tune out now. Two people will be killed in the season opening of The Walking Dead. Now, supposedly, the the script that was leaked says uh, that um, pa apparently originally it was Michonne that gets picked and Abraham runs in and gets killed. I don't think that's the case. The way it is meant to happen is uh, Abraham is picked... He gets Lucille with a bat, yeah, the, the, yeah, taking it like a champ. Line kicks in, and then he is killed. He is beaten down to death. Daryl then runs in, and if you recall, Daryl's got that blanket wrapped around him because he's been shot and he's injured. He apparently tackles Negan. He gets a beat down, 
And because of his actions, Negan decides to punish one more. And that is, in fact, going to be Glenn. Glenn apparently will not be given the bat, though. Apparently, if you recall, Negan puts his little gun in his belt buckle. He will pull the gun out and he will shoot Glenn. Now, the reason why they're going to do this is so... In the comic, if you don't know, um, Glenn gets Lucille. He gets the bat to his head and he dies just saying Maggie. And that's the end of it. AMC apparently want to draw that out a lot more. Um, Glenn will be shot. He will die in Maggie's arms. And it will be like a, a flashback sequence. Apparently, um, Rick goes on a on, um, like a little tour with Negan in the RV. And uh, he's showing him. And apparently, he's having lots of flashbacks before they actually show the kill. So um, whether or not that's true or not, I'm not... I can't confirm that, but there are lots of things that have been confirmed. That uh, the actor who plays Glenn and Abraham have filmed one episode and one episode only. That they've not been seen on set. However, to be honest, if AMC are fucking geniuses, they will they would have set this up. And I'm hoping to God it's not Glenn. I think without a doubt it's going to be Abraham. Abraham's going to die. I would love for a twist, and it's Abraham and Maggie. I would love to see him kill Maggie off as a shock to kill a pregnant woman on the show who does not die in the comics would be ginormous. It would be a huge, huge deal and to have Glenn live and have the conflict between Glenn and Rick for letting it happen, I think would be a great way to do a storyline. But they're not going to do that. They're not going to they're not going to kill a pregnant woman. Maggie has been seen reportedly on sets. There are no photos, though. So, arguably, that could happen. I I always thought that that could be one of the twists, that apparently Glenn will die, or Glenn won't die, and that Maggie takes his place and is shot. But then again, Negan doesn't kill women. In the comics, they could change that up in this. Who knows? And uh, one of the scenes apparently involved is... With Negan, he takes uh, Rick's hatchet, hands it to him, and forces him to almost cut Carl's hand off. If you know in the comic, Rick has lost his hand. Ages ago to the governor. Um, obviously, it hasn't happened now. The governor's long gone. But apparently, they're going to tease you with the hatchet, and he's going to almost force him to cut off his own son's hand. And apparently, the bat's going to come down. Negan grabs it. And by this stage, he has completely broken Rick. And Rick finally realizes who's in charge. <clears throat> now, with that said, with the whole Walking Dead thing, I would love AMC to really pull out a shock and change it up. It's so obvious that Glenn is going to die and Abraham's going to die because the one there, they have not been seen on set except for the first episode. In the comic, it is Glenn. You know, if AMC is smart, they will have found a way to have tricked everyone. Everyone out there who's fucking making this prediction that, oh, well, they haven't been seen on set, so it must be it must be Glenn and it must be Abraham because there are no photos of them. Well, there are called sets, you know, indoor sets where they could be filming in secret. And I would love for them to pull out that kind of fucking twist because everyone's making the prediction. And I mean, I'm expecting it. I'm watching it and expecting, oh, Abraham's going to get killed and it's going to be Glenn. There's no shock value to that. If AMC is smart, they've somehow got them hidden away and, I mean, look, I think Abraham's a, a goner, but Maggie or someone else, it would change it up. I, I personally think it has to be someone important besides Abraham. So there's no doubt it's going to be a Glenn. Or, I mean, a lot of people make Daryl the prediction, but I know I've seen photos of Daryl. Daryl, as far as I'm aware, he will get uh, taken prisoner by Negan's men, and he is held as a prisoner to basically keep Rick in line to make sure, you know, if you don't follow... What happens? I'm going to cut Daryl up and send him back in pieces. Supposedly is what's said. So, um, but we're going to find out. I mean, Walking Dead is not too far away, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with it because last couple of seasons haven't been the greatest. They're still very interesting and very good. But um, now with Negan coming into it, Negan shakes is going to shake it up in a big fucking way, and uh, I hope they don't pussify him, so to speak. I hope he's going to be very brutal, and that's why I, I personally I think. Kill Maggie. Kill Maggie. Shock everyone. Let him kill a pregnant woman. Have the argument of Glenn being pissed at Rick for letting it happen. 
letting his wife be beat down and killed because Rick wasn't strong enough as a leader to save it. That's what I would love to see. But they're not going to do that. They're going to kill Abraham. Daryl's going to rush in, fuck it up for everybody. And then that way, Glenn's going to get punished and he will get shot. And everyone said, well, Glenn has to be Lucille because in the comic he gets Lucille. Well, if you recall, on the gun barrel of his, well, his gun handle, he has a Lucille bat engraved on it. That's how he's going to get Lucille with a gun. He's going to get shot dead by his Lucille gun, which is a bit of a cop-out, but I think it, it, it will create a powerful scene with Maggie holding him and Glenn dying in, in, in her arms. Now, apparently, for the people who have seen the... Um, the first kind of tease they revealed with Rick being dragged off to the RV and all this kind of bullshit. You can see Maggie's ring in the pool of blood and all that kind of bullshit. That's complete crap. Why on earth would any woman take off her wedding ring and put it into the brains of a dead husband? That's just fucking stupid. Not going to happen. Um, but I, 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 I would love for all the people who have made these predictions, including myself, to be fucking proven wrong. I would love AMC to, to shock everyone. With the death. I mean, they, they ended it with a cliffhanger to hide the fact that we don't know who's going to be killed. But you're not hiding shit when Glenn gets killed in the comic, and he hasn't been fil- he hasn't been seen on set. Neither is Abraham. And what this is going to be the big controversial shock that we never could predict happening. That people, the two actors that people have predicted, are not on set. Uh, Glenn's the one who dies in the comic. You're not going to fucking change anything. You know what? Change it up. If you change it up, I will fucking love you, AMC, forever. If you prove me fucking wrong here and now, I will love you for doing that. Because every single person I have known out there, and once again, if you've just tuned in, sorry for spoiling it, people. It's going to be Abraham. It's going to be Glenn. They're going to get killed. But if it isn't, fucking all power to you, AMC. Because that will be the fucking shock value. If you can do that shit, then yeah. But um, and yes, Miss Chaos, that it, that is stupid because, you know, with uh, AMC, they um, they keep saying how they're gonna shock people and they're gonna shake it up this season. Well, you're not gonna shake shit up if you're gonna go with the obvious, the fact that fucking Glenn dies in the comic, Abraham hasn't been seen on set, or the actor that plays him. If if you're trying to fucking hide this big secret, fucking hide it better. However, if AMC are fucking doing it and we don't know it, fucking all power talk. That is going to be a fucking great thing. So with that said, as I said, I, I, we talked about the Logan trailer. I, I personally, I, I, I enjoy it. It's something different, a totally different take of it. It still could go down the typical path of every other freaking Wolverine movie and be complete and utter shit. But um, I do like what they're doing with it. It's something totally different. And uh, I like the kind of the undertone of loss and hopelessness and the fact that you know in this trail of logan you know the, the mutants are dying out and he's losing his powers and it, it seems like a fucked world to live in for a mutant and i kind of like kind of like that what they're doing with it and uh as for red dead <coughs> redemption 2 fuck you know it's it's not far away um the trailer it, it's it's gonna be on uh rockstar page they're gonna i think it's ten thirty eastern time in america or some shit i don't know um they're gonna they're gonna drop the trailer uh, I've made the prediction. It's going to be uh, John Marston's prequel story. I think everyone's predicting that because who wants to play as his son when he can play as the original and the best John Marston to one of the greatest games <laughs> ever made. I even have to burp that up and say that. Uh, yeah, so people, with that said, uh, thank you for watching. 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 Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more other crap. I'm just basically... It's, at the moment, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. I'm just literally sitting back enjoying life enjoying the home so um yeah thank you for listening people uh if you want to ever watch this shit or you ever want to tune in and we can just shoot the shit and talk crap about things going on please let me know because um yeah i'm more than happy to shoot the shit with all you guys so that's it